welcome all in this tutorial we shall learn how to create the confirm delete which is a child model to confirm delete before to confirm before deleting a record so let's flip over to visual studio now one thing we need to remember here is we cannot reuse the child component that we have already created because you know that there will be a difference in code so it will it is it's not reusable for confirm delete so, uh, so we have to make a fresh child component for confirm delete but we can still use the javascript interop that means we can still close the model after having deleted the record so first of all we have to wire up the delete button with some event and that event will set the selected task object and pass the information to the child component so upon confirmation for the child component for delete we need to delete the record and refresh the task list so let's get back to action so what i will do is right click components and add a new component so new item and call this razor uh, component as confirm delete Alright, so I'll get rid of this H3 and then start writing. It's pretty much the similar type of code that we have written for movies detail, movie detail. So it will be a div with a class model. Type index of minus one, like what we did earlier, just to let it not be navigated to from outside but it will still retain the focus so it avoids the accidental uh, tabbing to this uh, child model so i will call this confirm delete model so id is done now next we have another div in this case class is model dialog so model dialog and within model dialog we'll have another div with a class model content model content and within this model content we'll have model header first let me indent it a little bit so another div with a class of model header model header and within this model header i'll have model title but that will be in a h5 so h5 header and the class will be model title okay and between model title between the h5 and in h5 i'll write the title let's title it as delete confirmation and then there will be a button type equals button and this will be a close button class is close all right and like we did earlier for the other model data dismiss attribute will be model and starting tag end of starting tag and uh, within the start tag and end tag button tags i will write and times okay so and times that will be that will be rendered as a cross icon okay now just 
inject it a little bit to make it clean and then within the model content is another child div which is having a class of model body this was also done the same way uh, like we did for the movie detail model so in this body we will form a paragraph and within this paragraph we'll have it written do you want to delete this record or delete this movie rather okay great so at the before closing the div mo uh, modal header we'll go for modal header modal body before closing the modal content you'll have modal footer okay in this case this will be modal footer i'll tell you in a bit why div class is modal footer this will be a footer okay and within the modal footer we'll have two buttons okay one will be a yes button and another is cancel button i'll tell you the um, function of the yes button okay so let's write a button with the type type is button and the class is button button primary vtn vtn dash primary and i'll have to write at on click i will call a function that is yet to be written that is i'll name this on click this method so don't worry about the click um, squiggly lines red squiggly lines because that is still not formed yes so i will copy this button over and paste it and then change so this will be a button button secondary class and on you don't need any on click this is just a close button so this will have a data dis dismiss attribute data sorry data dismiss equals model and this is a cancel button right okay so divs have been taken care of and then i'll have a parameter attribute child component parameter and there's a public property now i will call this public property just in a bit event callback okay so event callback and i will put some argument and this is mouse event args so mouse event args and call this on click okay so this is a delegate you can say so on click this will be triggered okay now that's uh, the end of this uh, child component or confirm delete model so let me build this control shift b to build this and build succeeded so at the moment i don't aim to run the application because the application is still incomplete from the delete perspective all i have done is to write a confirm delete model so next lecture we'll be completing the delete operation